Have you ever taken one of those personality tests, you know, like a Myers-Briggs or a disc profile, or maybe even an astrological test and got your chart read? I'm an Aquarian. I'm a Virgo. Aquarian Virgo. Well, one of the things that I love about those is that they show you how to interact with other people. So I know how he's a Virgo. He might be more, I don't know, anal retentive about things. You might want to arrange some <laughs> things, make sure she's looking real good. I don't care about how I look. I just want to change the world because I'm an Aquarius. But I bet you've never taken an erotic type blueprint test. So erotic blueprint test is something that I'm really passionate about because I work in the field of sexuality. Hi, I'm Jaya. I'm a somatic sexologist. I'm the author of four books and I'm super passionate about helping people have hot, juicy sex lives. Woohoo! Woohoo! And, and I am Ian, and I am passionate about high performance, and I'm passionate about high, high skills in communication and helping people get what they want out of their relationship through verbal and nonverbal communication. Awesome. And we're really on a kick here for the next 52 weeks. We announced this last week for helping people really make over their love lives and have more passion, which means having both love and hot, awesome sex and desire and attraction and wanting one another. Mm -hmm. So one of the tools that Ian and I came up with, we went through a really big dry spell where things were not so good for about three years. And one of the tools that we found was really powerful was just understanding more about who we were and what really turned us on erotically. Now we're opposites. I have a blueprint that is complete opposite of Ian, which is one of the reasons why we were having a breakdown in the bedroom, because the way I want to initiate is, hey, you want to have sex? Um, I need a little <laughs> prep time. I need a little time to warm up to it. Right. So we have these differences based upon our erotic types. So one of the benefits of knowing what your erotic type is having more compassion because I can look at Ian and go, oh, now I understand why he's getting up to go change the music in the middle of sex, which drives my blueprint crazy. And I can understand that that's not going to work so well for her blueprints for me to go up and get that <laughs> music changed. <laughs> so we have a lot more compassion understanding as well as we can work on skill sets that now please each other in a whole new way because we know, well, my skill set's not going to naturally go toward his. I had to learn a whole new vocabulary and a whole new understanding of his eroticism because it just wasn't part of my vocabulary. Even as a sexologist, it wasn't something that I taught or played with. So to help you understand a little bit more about this, let's go into our blueprints. I'm gonna start with the first one, which is the energetic. And the energetic loves anticipation, space, tease, you know, really playing with like touching but not touching, all of those really fun things. They, they like the energy and some of them really get into the spiritual aspect of sexuality. Yes, sex and spirit can go together. And so there's this sense of I'm reaching or attaining enlightenment through my sexual energy and moving sexual energy through my body. And energetics are awesome because they can have orgasms by not even being touched from all the way across the room. The wind blows, I get like, woo. I have superpowers. Yep, she's, she's mm, big energetic. Mm -hmm. So. And I am sensual, and a sensual is turned on by having all of their sense senses just ignited. So that can be like contouring, deep, sensual mm -hmm. touch. That can be the Honey, environment. Mm, taste, chocolate. Like chocolate. It can be the environment of candles and music and just really making that environment that's so juicy. They really bring the beautiful, the beauty into mm -hmm. sex. The next one is the sexual, and this is my secondary, but what happens for me is this one pops up to primary when I haven't had enough sex, and you'll understand why here in a second. So the sexual loves nudity, they love penetration, they like frequent intercourse, they can really get into orgasm, and they can get upset if they're not getting enough sex, if they're not getting enough orgasm. They like erotic visuals, um, they like self-pleasuring or masturbation. You know, sexuals, they love sex. They're fun. They bring joy to the sexual experience. They really can get, they get into the act of penetration mm -hmm. a lot. And if we don't have it, we can get a little cranky. A little cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to that one. So my other blueprint is kinky, and a kinky is turned on by taboo. Now, a taboo could be whips and chains, or it could be... Sex out of missionary Sex position. out of missions, yeah, missionary style. So it just depends what really turns you on. And there's two types of kinky. There's psychological and there's impact. Psychological is going to be dominated mostly in the, in the area of domination and submission. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have power play games. That's what's really going to get them turned on. And uh, the impact play is going to be, you know, like, uh, well, I'm not going to do it, but, you know, like, 
slap and <laughs> some spanking and even constriction. Oh, come on. I bet everybody wants to see you spank me. I bet they do. <laughs> we'll have that for maybe the kinky video in a yes. few weeks. Hold on. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so. Um, next one? Yes. Shape shifter. Shape shifter. So the shapeshifter is somebody who's turned on by all of these. So they love the tease and anticipation. They love the sensuality. They love penetration and, and nudity and the sexual aspects. They're really into also the kinky. So a lot of people want to say, hey, I'm a shapeshifter because they hear themselves in some of these. But you really need to have all of them to be a true shapeshifter. So a true shapeshifter is somebody who has all of these pretty equally and they really need them. They need all of these things in a sexual experience in order to feel really satisfied. Shapeshifters are actually quite complicated. But yet, we all kind of want to be a shapeshifter because then that gives us the, the opportunity and the mad skills to be able to speak everybody's language. It's like being a sexual superhero. Yes, so sexual want, superhero. -dom. So if you dive into these with us, you have a key to sexual superstardom. So you may just by listening to us have an idea what your blueprint is, but you can go and actually take the quiz that will tell you your type. So if you visit our website, MissJaya.com, that's M-I-S-S, J-A-I-Y-A dot com. If you go there, there'll be a little pop-up window that comes up that says, Mistress Jaya dares you to take her sex quiz. And you just click on that and it'll take you through the quiz and it'll tell you what your type is. So you can find out right there what your type is. Now, over the next coming weeks, we're gonna go deeper into these blueprints. So if you find out what type you are, we're gonna actually give you some more information on each one of these and go through and maybe, I don't know, in that kinky video, Ian might, might get a little spanking going on. You might get a little demonstration, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, so make sure to check this out and really commit to these 52 weeks of really making over your love life with us because we're on board here. We're really committed and we're doing this and we're making these videos for you and we really wanna serve you. Let us know how you like these and also please in the comments, feel free to ask us questions because we can make a video for you over these next 52 weeks on things that are coming up for you, what you're discovering. And we'd love to hear what's your blueprint. So if you wanna tell us in the comments below, uh, what is your blueprint? We'd, we'd love to hear and see. We could start doing some research here, right here on YouTube on. Get how many an, people are energetic? Right. How many people are sensual? An official poll. Checking that out. You guys All right. can chat with each other about, hey, you're energetic. Let's play. <laughs> yeah, let's play <laughs> together. <laughs> All right. Until next time, fill your life with pleasure.